Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video, and we are back with Rags to Riches plus Challenges. So, I did realize that um, I'm missing a few things from last episode that I had put into the video. So, I'm trying to fix that now. <laughs> and I'm sorry if it's a little glitchy. I don't know why. But the game has been like that for a little while now. Every time I run this game, it kicks my computer's butt. So, that's fun. We're gonna go ahead and place everything that I had before. You have to make more money, because obviously I just got rid of a bunch of stuff. Let's see if I can grow everything in here. Because this is a closed area. The only reason the door is like this because I wanted an open doorway. But it should work. Okay, it's working now. Doesn't need water. Oh, that's fine. It's cool. If they don't need water, they don't need water. That's fine with me. There we go. But yeah, we have our little garden start. Uh, I'm going to have her paint really quick for a little while. Because we don't have enough money for um, what we need to continue the uh, gameplay. Oh, by the way, we are dating. I'm reading through the challenges because I don't remember which challenge we left off on. But uh, we are dating now. And then the reason I built the fourth room is that you have to have four rooms to move in your partner and I wanted to move in Lilith so I went ahead and built the first or the last room so you may take as much time as you would like to find a partner but make sure you have four rooms regardless of your decisions to wait to get together now before moving on with the next steps okay so I've done that so once you have four rooms and a partner, if you choose, having a partner is not required. I want that to be clear. Having a partner is not required. You may get a full-time job. Anything you would like to do is allowed. I can get a full-time job. Hold on. Do I have a full-time job? I don't. I still have my part-time job. Ooh. What do we want to do with her? I don't want her to be a gardener. I don't think that would be how I want her to go. Let's, uh, business. There it is. Find a job. Let's see. So she does candle making. She's a painter. She's a fisher. She gardens. She cooks a lot. Um, obviously when she finishes this painting, I'll look at what we have as options. Ooh. Okay, and then after we get the job, at this point, if you don't have at least 8,000 simoleons in your reserve at all times, you have 24 hours in the game to get back up, or you restart the challenge. That's what I'm doing right now, is trying to get my money back up. Because I thought I had it, but I guess I didn't. I don't think the game saved properly either, anyway. But, that is step 14, is the make sure you have the money you need. And then step 15 is you need to get three promotions before expanding the house one more room. Same rules apply for the room like the others. So obviously five by five, stuff like that. So I can't continue until I get three promotions. But I can move in my partner. Because... I needed one more room to move in my partner. So if I want to move in Lilith, I can do that. But I'll have to get three promotions with this job before I do that. Or before I move on with the challenge. Let's see what we have as options. I don't really want to be a conservationist. Um, I don't really know what I want to do with her. I want her to have a job where she like goes and leaves the house. I don't want her to be a freelancer. It's an option, and I like doing freelancing, but I don't want her to be that. 
I think I might make her a painter. She's already pretty like proficient in the painting skill. So I think that's where I'm going to go with it. Because one of my rules is that you can only use the skills that you're allowed to have. So the skills that she's allowed to have is candle making, which I think is fabrication or something like that. Painting, fishing, and gardening. Those are her skills that she's allowed to have. And then all these are just basic ones. Like she can bake obviously, but she has to bake as a way of cooking. I think this is just something I got from something else. And the handiness is because I try not to spend money. Entrepreneur, you get that anyway when you sell paintings. Yeah, so those are her skills that we can focus on. I don't, obviously, fishing is a part time job, so that's not what we need. Painting is a full time, gardening is a full time, but I don't like the gardening career. And I think gardening will just be a, like a, in her free time thing she likes to do. So I think painter was the best option for her. And then you do need to create paintings for your job, which is fine because we need to make some money. Because technically, I'm going to say it was about 5 o'clock when we started this and we were below the money amount that we needed. So we have till 5 p.m. tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to get that out there. I did give her a key, I think. No, I didn't. Oh. Excuse you. If I'm inviting you in, that means come in, not go back outside. It's just rude. You see, this we made this for her. This room is for her. That way we have a shared bed because I was sleeping in a single bed before. Talk about marriage. I think that'll be an interesting conversation. I don't know if that'll go well. Um, I do want to invite her to live with me though. Whoa. Oh, is this part of the new update stuff? Oh, that's cool. I haven't looked at this yet, guys. I don't really know what I'm looking for. Ask to join household. That's what I want to do. I want you to move in with me. Because I love you. Sadly leaving the sister behind, but that's okay. I think it's her sister. I think they're sisters. I'm not gonna bring in any of your money. One of the rules is that you cannot bring them for money. We are able to modify the household that has the scenario in your pro in progress. Your changes might cause the scenario to end. I don't really care. Should I upload my house to the gallery? Like, let me know what you think of the house so far. It's obviously nowhere near done, but it's going to take a while to get where I want it to be. Oh, she's in for art history. And you're, are you in school for criminal career? You are. And your sister's there for art history. That's so funny. I knew that, like, Lilith wasn't the best character quote unquote, but I think it's really funny that now I get to explore her properly. You have two, three days left of school? Oh my goodness, you're not gonna do very well, are you? I think it's funny that they're going to school for villainy. I wouldn't imagine they would be very good at school. You still have to do a paper. I don't have a computer in this house. Um, guys, that's gonna be the skill for her. There's a there's a point later on in the game where she can have a skill that will bring in money for the house, and I think I'm gonna do the computer. I'll probably do writing or something on the computer. I think writing's where I want to go with that. Actually, no. I'm gonna have her submit a plagiarized one because I feel like it's more of what she would do, and hope that she can get away with it. I want to try to work with her character, what's already made for her. Oh, she's Kleptomaniac. That's 
That's crazy, actually. I think I've read that before. Like, maybe she does some of her homework, but not all of her homework. But I don't, also don't want to give off the idea that she just doesn't care about her work. I feel like she would just try to do the plagiarize and get away with it because that's just how she is. It's like small little white collar uh, crimes to go on to her path. Yeah, don't want get a job. We don't need to buy a store. Maybe somewhere down the line we could do one of the kids has a store, which would be interesting actually. Programming. We can make a program for her skill. That's an idea, and then she could use that for a villainy, I think. At least story-wise that would work. I don't know if she actually needs that for a villainy, but like, story-wise, that's a good idea. And I know she doesn't like to cook, so we're just gonna have her get leftovers and then go to bed. Or not, not go to bed. You don't need to go to bed. Uh, I'll let you take a nap, because you are kind of tired. I don't really have some stuff for her to do yet because I don't have any skills that she can do. I mean, she can do the skills that she already has, but like I can't give her a new skill to work on until that challenge. She could paint for the house. That is a skill she already has, just for confirmation. So clicking on her this she has a painting skill of five already so she does enjoy painting so I can do that have her paint for money I just can't have her do anything else for money because it's not already part of her character like programming she can't program though we can make our character Fish. Oh. Never mind. I'm actually not going to record a whole lot today. But, you know, next episode, I'm thinking that we could go out and about with Lilith and try to get her aspiration dealt with. Or at least move up a little bit in her aspiration. And then try to get her to pass school, obviously. Because, like... She's got 7 of 12 credits, so I think these three are three more to add on to that. Let's do one abstract painting, and you're kind of sick. So I am going to get her some medicine, get some of that. Don't need her being sick. She's burnt her hand again. Jeez, Luna, what are you doing? I know you're tired, but like... Why? I just want her to finish her candle. Okay, she can go to sleep now. Okay, we have enough money. That's what I wanted, was to make sure we had enough money. And then we're gonna head and put her to sleep. And I'm going to go ahead and end this episode because we did make it before the 5 p.m. mark of getting money. Now we just need to make a bit more. That way when I try to spend money on like food and stuff, we're not losing. We're not going to have to do this make the challenge thing again. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to put some sugar on that like button. Comment down below anything you would like to see. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!